Muli, salamat at narito kayo ulit sa aking channel. Ngayon, kung bago ka ulit sa aking channel, huwag mong kakalimutang mag-subscribe at ipindutin ang bell para ikaw ay ma-update sa aking mga ina-upload. Ngayon sa video ng ito, tuturo ko kung paano ang permutation. Pero bago dyan, alamin natin kung ano ang permutation. Ang permutation ay may dalawang klase. Una, repetition is allowed. Pangalawa, repetition is not allowed. Kung napapansin nyo, meron akong in-upload dito na video na kung saan yung fundamental principle of counting. Diniscuss ko doon kung paano ang repetition is allowed and repetition is not allowed. Balikan lang natin. How many three-digit numbers can be formed using the digit 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? If repetition is allowed and repetition is not allowed. So, for repetition is allowed, so meron tayong three-digit numbers. So, kailangan natin mag-form ng three-digit number. Since repetition is allowed, pwede natin ulitin yung five-digit number. Okay, so first, second, and third. So, operation natin is multiplication. So, 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. While repetition is not allowed, big sabihin yung 5 na number, pag nilagay mo na siya sa una, hindi mo na siya pwedeng ilagay sa pangalawa. So, magiging 4. At syempre, magiging 3 na sa pangatlong digit number. Kaya, 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 60. So, mapapansin nyo ang kahalagahan ng repetition na is allowed and repetition is not allowed under dito sa topic natin. Ganun lang kasimple. Ito pa, yung isa. Yung 10 bikers join a race in how many possible ways can they be arranged as first, second, and third place? Kung napapansin nyo doon, the first, second, and third place, mahalaga ba yung repetition? Or kailangan ba na ma-repeat ang isa sa kanila? Hindi. So, tama. Kasi, yung 10 bikers, pag ilalagay mo sa first, kung mamili ka sa 10, so 10 sila pwede kang mamili. Pero pagdating sa second place, Siyempre, siyam na lang. So, 9. And, for the third place, walo na lang ang pagpipilihan mo. Therefore, 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 720. So, you have 720 20 possible ways can be arranged of the 10 bikers who joined a race. Okay? So, I hope nasundan nyo siya. So, yun lang ay simpleng pahapyaw para mas higit na maintindihan ang permutation. Here in permutation, we're going to focus on the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So, we have here permutation of n objects taken r at a time. Okay? So, n factorial all over quantity n minus r then a factor yeah. where n is the number of things to choose from and we choose r for them so for example kanina doon sa bikers natin so no repetitions orders matter so yung pwesto nila hindi naman na ganun kahalaga pero dito ay hindi pwedeng mauli. So, under here, kung napapansin nyo sa baba, you can see here the ways kung paano isulat yung permutation. Pwedeng ito, pwedeng ganito, or ito. Ito siya. Ito yung magiging guide natin. As long as you know the n where the number of things to choose from doon ka mamimili. And, you choose oh, yung R of them. Okay? So, explain ko yan mamaya. 
So ito siya. We have here, example number one. How many ways can first and second place be awarded to six people? Okay. So upon reading, so you have to choose the first and second place in the six people. So, mamimili ka doon sa six na tao kung sino ang first and second place. Therefore, ang n natin dyan ay six. Kasi dito ka mamimili. And r is for two. Dalawa. Why dalawa? Since first, second. So, dalawa lang siya. Therefore, lalagay natin dito. So, palitan natin yung n, r, Ayan. So, so, 6 factorial. So, ito siya. Then, 6 minus 2. Then, we factorial. Okay? So, simplify this. 6 minus 2 magiging 4. So, magiging 4 factorial na yan. So, na-discuss ko na rin kanina kung paano i-simplify yung 6 factorial divided by factorial using new 6 factorial over 2 factorial. Okay. So, let's proceed here. So, this one, kung may calculator ka, pag 6 factorial, ito ay 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 720. While 4 factorial is 24. So, next, ito, divide mo siya. So, 720 divided by 24 will give us 30. Okay? So, the ways... Again, first and second place be awarded to six people is 30. So we have 30 ways. Here's another way or the method. This one. Ituro ko kung sa fundamental counting of principles. Or dun sa permutation natin na VGS. Okay, so here, sir, pinagkaiba lang ng mga details. So 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial. So, kakancel mo na kasi yan. Giging 6 times 5. So, 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And they are both equal. Okay? So, pansin nyo lang dito. May time kasi na pag mag-factorial tayo, kung gamit natin cellphone or calculator, minsan, pag malaki yung number, hindi nyo siya nakapactorial. Okay, nag error kumbaga. Okay? Hindi naman siya totally na error, pero may merong letter E or something like that, mathematical, etc. So, pwede ko siyang explain later on or sa next video ko na lang kung paano gumamit ng calculator. Or pwede rin yung cellphone ninyo. Okay, so we have here another example. A professor wants to assign five different tasks to her five students. In how many possible ways can she do it? Okay, so professor wants to assign five different tasks to her five students. So five different tasks, yun yung n natin, and r natin yung five students. Okay, so yung formula natin, so ito siya. So, Pag sinimplify natin ito, 5 minus 5 factorial is equal to 0 factorial. So, automatic naman na ang 0 factorial is equal to, yes, 1. Therefore, simplify natin, it's 5 factorial. Okay, what is 5 factorial? That is 120. So, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 120. Okay? Next, what is the total number of different permutations of all the letters from the word love? Okay. So, from the word love, so in our permutations, we can use the same thing as the same thing as the same thing as the same so, C, pag nilagay natin, 4 minus 4, so 0 factorial. So, yan, 4 factorial, so 4 times 3, 
times 2 times 1 is equal to 24. Okay, so the answer is 24. I hope. So, ganun lang. Lagi nyo lang titignan or to check doon sa n and par natin. Napakahalaga yung n objects taken r at a time. Okay? Kung baga, eto yung n, pinakamahalaga n din yung r. Hindi nyo siya pwede pagpalit eh. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, I hope dito sa permutation, eto pumapasok yung repetition is not allowed. Okay? So, I hope meron kayong natutunan kahit pa paano dito sa aking video lesson. So, thank you for watching. See you sa aking pagkuturo kung paano gumamit ng cellphone or scientific calculator using the permutation. Okay? So, that's all. Bye-bye!